now that Prophet Muhammad has a solid base outside of his hometown, Mecca, the way he spreads his message of peace also changes. In Mecca, he used to threaten the infidels with hellfire and God's punishment, which obviously no sane person would take seriously. Just like you don't take that guy seriously. So, when nobody takes you seriously, what do you do? You use force. This is why experts have differentiated between the Meccan verses and the Medinan verses. The Meccan verses, as the name suggests, are from the period when the Prophet Muhammad was in Mecca, a weak man with no army, and hence the verses threatened people with imaginary punishment and ordered Muhammad to show restraint. For example, this Meccan verse 4635 tells Muhammad to be patient like previous prophets and don't be too hasty in going after the infidel. Our time will come. Just, just, just be cool. It's okay. Also, the infamous verse 1096, which a lot of Muslims fool non-Muslims with, which says, For you is your faith, and for me, my faith. So basically, Allah, which is Prophet Muhammad, is saying, just be cool, okay? Chill. Don't worry about it. Just Everyone live in peace and harmony. Allah will decide on judgment day. Wouldn't that have been a wonderful world? Wake up, Perry. Oh, sorry, I was having a nice dream. So because he was kind and soft, which was because he was weak, Muhammad didn't have much success in Makkah. In fact, he was forced to run in the middle of the night to Medina to save his life. And they call us cowards? Now that he's in Medina, the verses that Muhammad came up with in Medina are therefore called the Medinan verses. Prophet Muhammad is no longer threatening people with imaginary divine punishments or telling people that you have your faith, I have my faith. Nope. But instead, Muhammad started raising an army and therefore Allah, which is Prophet Muhammad, is now threatening to attack them. Like in this Medinan verse 929 fight against those who do not believe in Allah or in the last day and who do not consider unlawful what Allah and his message blah 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 basically from for you is your faith and for me is my faith to kill them all this whole chapter 9 called Surah Toba is filled with these violent aggressive verses totally opposite to the kind of vibe that we got from the Meccan verses here's another one that i like to throw in muslim apologist faces indeed the penalty for those who wage war against allah and his messenger and strive upon earth corruption is none but they be killed or crucified or that their hands and feet be cut off from opposite sides. Cut off their hands and feet from opposite sides? Hmm, that's why real Muslims don't like Geneva Convention. Oh no, actually they do, but only when they are the captives. Anyway, as you can see now, it's no longer for you is your faith and for me is my faith, or if you don't believe in one truth Allah, then Allah will punish you in the afterlife, la di da. So now that you understand the argument of Makkan verses, versus Medinan verses and understand the reasons behind this transition from a crazy wide-eyed apocalyptic evangelist prophet to a pretty impressive <laughs> caravan robber. So now that prophet Muhammad has moved away from giving imaginary threats to giving real-world threats, he's gonna need an army. 